what's up guys so today's video is just going to be my very first cat painting i just wanted to kind of go at it and see if i could attempt to make it look somewhat realistic um and throughout this video you're gonna see i was so frustrated and i give complete props to anyone who has the patience and the talent to do everything in so much detail i go in here and i picked this color because I just didn't want to do it black as of yet and I wanted to kind of have some yellow tones and I was actually getting really confident whenever I was filling this in the very beginning. Um, throughout this whole video you're going to see that I ended up getting so frustrated with a lot of the sketches or a lot of the painting colors, this color scheme, what have you. It, it was just all starting to get so frustrating. And I just kind of want you to just sit back, relax, see how frustrating it can be, but we can always end with a pretty result, so stay tuned. And I got frustrated because my camera died, so it's going to pan out to what I had ended up doing when I first realized it died. So I added some brown into it, um, and I hated it, so I tried to redo it. As you can see, I kind of erased the brown entirely the light yellow color I just went at it with a gray um, here I'm trying to get the eyes correct it was very 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 hard for me to do the eyes I think I should really take a class on eyes whether it be for animals or for people but as you can see I'm just trying to fill in make the fur kind of look like it's present um, and I couldn't really get the shape of the head correct it just seemed off to me so I just kind of shortened it with the black and just made it a black background solid something I can kind of start over again with and I go in with white to try to add a little more detail and to save this particular photo but it's probably going to change within the next few seconds right before your eyes and honestly there's a portion where I gouge the eyes out right here <laughs> so I apologize it looks a little scary um I realized here that I wanted to do the eyes a little differently because they were kind of looking cross-eyed. Um, but I'm just going to let you finish watching. You let me know what you think, what I could have done better. Um, this is a really, really, really big learning curve for me. So I just really appreciate you staying tuned. And I hope you stay tuned for all the others and watch me get better through time. Hopefully I can present you with a really good photo one day of a realistic cat. But as of now... We'll just settle with what I could have think of. But legitimizing the. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, just thank you for following along with me through this journey. Hopefully, through the videos, through all the time that I plan on being on YouTube, we can just see the progression, just get better and better, and hopefully that inspires enough people to just start, just paint. You know takes a while it's frustrating but what is it in life You would think I would have left it alone already <laughs> as much as I just I kept looking at places where I could have done better so I just you know I finally gave up after I added the brown um, but this is going to be the finished product and I hope you find this next part very very satisfying as satisfying as I did.